Hey guys, so today's video is not a camera review, it's also not a tutorial. It's kind of almost like a little, you could say, a nostalgia. <laughs> Going back to my old days of when I got my first instant uh, photo camera, which was a Polaroid. In this case, this is a Fujifilm Instax uh, Mini 70 camera. And I got this camera, like I said, by accident almost. Didn't really think I would enjoy shooting on film again because it's been a, a very long time since I've shot anything actually on film, especially these days when it's you know almost impossible to actually, first of all, buy film and then get it developed. Uh, but you know, back, back in the day, I used to take a lot of photos on actual uh, film uh, and I used to actually work on films. Like the first film that I worked on, a feature film, was, was still shot on film back in those days. Um, so yeah, so this camera uh, is a, actually a new camera that still allows you to kind of go back and relive those days of uh, shooting on film. Now, uh, in this case, you know, not, you're not going to have a negative. It's kind of like I said, like those Polaroid cameras where you click a button and it right away basically develops the photo, comes out with a little, uh, you know, instant photo that you can share with people. You can put in an album, I actually have a little album here with all these pictures that I took with this camera and I just thought it was a fun thing that, that I kind of got into recently and I wanted to share it with you guys. I, I got the camera actually because of uh, Soundstripe. They sent me this camera, uh, I think it was because they wanted me to promote something <laughs> of theirs. Uh, they're, they're a great company actually, I use their service so if you guys want check out the, the link in the description of the video. Uh, but if I'm not going to be talking about them in this video, like I said they sent this to me and and I just was kind of, again, at first I wasn't really sure why would, you know, would I want to use kind of a bulky uh, camera. It's not too heavy, it's only half a pound, but it's not the smallest camera, <laughs> it's not the thinnest. Uh, so when you compare this to like a typical cell phone these days that can do a lot more than this camera can, it kind of makes you want to wonder like, okay, wh why would I want to use this? But I gotta admit, I kind of got sucked into this because there's just something cool about being able to you know, click a button and have something physical, tangible uh, in your hand that you can, again, put in your photo album or you can share with people. Uh, because I don't know about you guys, but I find that now, because it's so easy to take pictures with, you know, maybe whether it's your cell phone or cameras or video cameras can take really good stills. Uh, the problem is that we end up taking so many pictures but none of them are ever really get, getting printed out, or at least in my case. I know like sometimes my wife will tell me like, Tom, we need to print out these new photos, you know, you gotta put them in one of our albums, but it rarely ever happens. And so a lot of times these photos just stay in a digital format. Uh, sometimes, you know, I've had cases where I had hard drives failed and those photos disappear. Whereas there's just, again, there's something cool about having a physical photo in your hand. And that's what this cool little camera allows you to do. So how do you operate it? <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Uh, and that's because it's an automatic camera. So there isn't really much that you can do with it. Uh, if you're gonna have to load it basically with actual film, uh, when you get the camera, basically it's, uh, when you open the door, basically this is how it looks. So as you can see, uh, you have literally right there the lens and it's gonna focus on your film. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Uh, there's an uh, here a little bit uh, like this little door here or this little window on the back of the, the door that will indicate if you have actually film loaded in there. Uh, if you don't see anything in there, if it's clear, that means it's uh, there's nothing in there. If you see a little yellow line, that means you have film loaded in there. You have your power button. Uh, you have different modes that you can switch through. And then here you have your batteries actually. So it uses these, uh, these are what, CR2 batteries, so two of these you gotta get. Um, and that's pretty much it. Here on the front you have, uh, you have actually here your light sensor, you have a little mirror for taking <laughs> selfies. Believe it or not, you can actually take selfies with it. Uh, and it's kind of funny because it's, you're not gonna be able to, well, you're basically kind of eyeballing the framing of the shot whether you're using the little mirror because you're basically just looking at a reflection of yourself or even when you're looking through the viewfinder because the viewfinder is not actual optical viewfinder that goes through the lens it's just kind of here on the side so you put it to your eye for wide angle shots it's you know you more or less you, you're seeing the framing you're, you're going to get but if you're doing macro shots where the camera is really close then you notice the viewfinder is off to the side here by like an inch 
uh, or more actually than an inch. So that means that you're you're actually your framing is, is the, for getting micro shots at least. It's kind of hard to get the framing correctly. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I mean that's pretty much it. So you, like I said, open the back here. Uh, you got to load it with film. Film comes in these packs of basically 10 shots per uh, per one cartridge, I guess. Uh, and you usually buy two of these, so you get 20 uh, photos. Another thing you will notice when you start using this camera is that you know, you're gonna be just like back in those days when you were shooting on, on any standard film camera. You're gonna be very careful when you push that uh, shutter button because it's not like, again, not like with a cell phone where you can just take 20 photos and just hope you get you get one just right. Uh, you're gonna be very much aware of how much, how many basically shots you have left. But anyways, yeah, you get a little pack like this uh, and then inside of it, you get two of these. You open it up. And this is how the film cartridge looks. And as you'll notice, uh, here you have on, on the front, you have this little uh, kind of a cardboard piece uh, it says don't push because that's under behind it is basically where the actual 10 shots uh, are and you're gonna put this in here in the back of the camera pretty straightforward close it uh, now you'll see the little yellow mark there that means again that it, the camera is loaded so you don't want to be opening it up once you you know basically open the you could say that the film canister so press the power button to start up the camera you'll notice a little cool lens that comes out so definitely not a compact camera especially once this lens comes out but yeah once you have that you just press the shutter button and that actually ejects that uh, that piece of cardboard that's there protecting the film so you can this this uh, you know basically disregard that and then now you're actually ready to start shooting and you'll see a little indicator here in the back it'll actually say uh, how many shots you have left so in this case i have 10 because i still haven't used it um, and uh, and then also you have little like things here buttons so you have one for selfie mode all that it does is like you'll notice if I press it see this is normal this is selfie uh, just simply adjust the lens for the best kind of focus so uh, again because this doesn't really have out of focus it just has like these different presets so for selfie it kind of focuses more or less at an arm's length um, you know the, to the subject uh, you also have another mode here, which is uh, if you click the basically the mode buttons, uh, you'll notice you have macro with a little flower, and the macro again just adjusts for a really close focus, it's between one and two feet uh, from the lens. And then another mode you have here is landscape, the little mountains, and uh, landscape again just adjusts the focus for anything uh, at 10 feet and beyond. So if you're shooting anything further away. Uh, that's what you're gonna set it to. Otherwise, you just leave it in standard, and we'll kind of get it there between, uh, roughly between two and ten feet uh, of range. Uh, another mode here you have, uh, when you press the mode button, you have the little uh, lightning. That just simply forces the the flash to go. Uh, now this camera again is fully automatic, so it adjusts the exposure for you automatically. And if it detects that there's not enough light, it will still trigger the flash. So it's not like you can disable it. But if you want to, let's say, turn it on, like let's say if you're shooting outside, and many times I used it, let's say, when I was out on the beach, on a nice sunny day, so there's plenty of light, but you don't want to get those ugly shadows and stuff. Let's say so if somebody has a hat. Uh, so you just enable that, and that will kind of do like a, like a fill flash effect. Um, and then another thing you hear you have is high key. High key just simply, uh, it kind of bumps up the exposure. So kind of, again, let's say if you have like a bright background behind your subject and you don't want the subject to be underexposed. So you want everything to be really bright and you just, you enable that. That's really the only uh, amount of control you get over the exposure. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you also have a little timer button. So click that, you can uh, set a timer. So you can kind of set this up on a tripod. You do actually get a quarter 20 here uh, thread on the bottom. So you can set it up on a tripod press the button, run over, you know, let's say pose with your family and take a take a photo that way. And there's actually another uh, time, uh, basically a timer mode, which basically has this little two next to it. Just simply means that it's gonna take two photos uh, and they're both more or less timed at like 10 seconds after the, you press the shutter button. And that's pretty much it. That's all the controls there are to it. That's the shutter button here. 
you click it and it takes a photo. The photo comes out right away uh, and you get, I think it takes about like 90 seconds, somewhere around there to actually develop the photo. And the photos are pretty cool. Like I said, they're like those, you know, little Polaroid pictures. Uh, very simple, but again, it's something, like I said, what's cool about it is that it's an actual tangible picture that you have in your hand. Uh, and uh, I also got this actually, this little album I found on Amazon. Um, again, just a cool way of like right away storing those photos because it's perfectly kind of sized for those uh, uh, kind of size photos. Uh, but yeah, I, I end up taking a lot of pictures here uh, over my last vacation and I just kind of, again, kind of fell in love with, with uh, taking these actual physical photos on a film camera. You know, it's maybe not a film negative, uh, but it's still actually a, a film. Uh, with the whole chemical process and uh, like I said something you know call it nostalgia call it whatever you want going back you know making me feel like I'm younger again or, or something like that but at the end of the day it just feels cool so I'm actually going to be experimenting actually more with this camera there's some other cameras I noticed that still uh, uh, shoot with this kind of a uh, instant film so I'm gonna maybe experiment with that plus I'm actually going to be doing a few other cool little projects that I'll be sharing here on my uh, you know, on my website, uh, which is going to be basically my first feature film that I shot was actually shot on um, on film on 16 mm, millimeters, Super 16, and I have all the rolls of film. I actually have a projector there behind me, I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, a 16 millimeter projector. That I'm going to be basically using that to try to capture. Uh, raw photo, basically stills of that film, and then kind of, you could say, a, a cheap method of scanning it into a computer so I can actually put it in my uh, non-linear editing software and I can re-edit and restore my film because again, it was the original film was just edited on film and then we had like a video copy of it and stuff like that so it's just, it's let's just say the quality of it is so it's horrible, at least the copy that I have. Uh, so that's one of the projects I'm, I'm going to be kind of playing around with and sharing with you guys see is there a cheap way, a kind of do-it-yourself way to be able to scan these old film negatives and convert it into like a nice digital, you could say, uh, copy right now. So kind of, you know, again, we'll see if I can restore my first directorial de debut, which is uh, again shot on Super 16. But anyways, this is one of these cool little things that I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. As always, follow the affiliate links in the description. Helps me out, doesn't cost you guys anything extra. and. Uh, you might, you know, you might just enjoy playing around with this kind of a cool little instant camera. Uh, so again, follow the links for that, or uh, as always, you can find more information about this or some camera gear reviews, tutorials, things like that, all on my website, which is at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.